Hello, everybody. I'm Ricky Smith, and this is Faith on Friday Presents. At Faith on Friday Presents, we're all about highlighting inspiring people, engaging topics, and small businesses. And of course, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our content with your network. So goals, we all strive to meet them. We all strive to make sure we have them. We're told we should have goals to meet the places we want to be. But goals are hard. How do you know you're getting there? How do you know what your goals should be? Where do you write that stuff down at that's not on a napkin? Well, today we're going to talk to somebody who not only knows about goals, but also is here to help us reach them. Y'all, please say hello to my friend, Nikki Kelly. Hi, Nikki. Hi. I'm so good. Nikki, thank you so much for joining me today because this topic is tough for a lot of people. It is, yes. <laughs> So, Nikki, you had to come up with goals because y'all y'all may not know this, but this gorgeous woman is also in the military. She is a mom, she is married, and she runs a business. Nikki, where did you find time for all of this? Woo! It's by the grace of God. That's what it is. <laughs> Definitely by the grace of God. Oh, that's um, right. Just having to be relentless about it and and when it's something that you truly want to do, you'll find time for the things you want to do. So that is, that <laughs> cannot be any truer than the truth. So what happened that you started? She's had, she has goals. How did you get that started? Um, so it started uh, with my coaching program first. So my coaching program is the goal accountability program. And um, I guess if I had to rewind, so I've always been a person that really enjoys setting goals, really enjoys um, the journey to achieving them. And I've always written my goals and I've always created a vision board each year. Wow. And then um, one year, or actually when I had my son, that was the first time that I didn't write any of my goals down. That was the first time that I didn't create a vision board and I was literally just rolling with the punches. Um, then I started getting beat up and I was like, okay, I got to get, I got to get my life together. What, what is going on? Why can't, am I, you know, like, why am I not focused? Mm -hmm. And then I realized it was because I didn't write any goals that year. And it was because I didn't uh, create a vision board. And I was like, you know what, I got to get it together. And I got to go back to what it is I, I am used to doing. I can't allow me being a mom now stop me from continuing to want to achieve my goals. Um, and then I met other mothers on that, you know, motherhood journey. And I realized that other mothers were going through the same things, you know, putting their goals on the back burner um, and, mm. and choosing to put everything else and everybody else first. And like I always say, you should definitely put your family first, but you shouldn't forget about yourself. Oh, that and, right um, there. And so after that, I was like, you know what, I want to be able to do it for myself, but then also show other women and other mothers, because at that time, my focus was solely on mothers, um, that they can be a mom, but they can also be a goal setting mom. Mm, so a goal setting mom. Yeah. I love that. Because a lot of us when we were mommies and making babies in our younger years, the goal was get people up and out on time. Or the yeah. goal was Get That's dinner goal, done. Right? <laughs> yeah. Get dinner done and folks in bed on time. That was the only goal we had. I like what you said. You can still be a mom, but don't forget about yourself. Because a lot of times as women, we do. We yeah, will we put do. everything out front, everything. But then we forget about ourselves and then we go to bed frustrated because we've That's forgotten right. ourselves, forgotten our goals. We no longer dream or we feel like those things will never be accomplished. So then exactly. when you started, when you went back to, after taking a straight beat down for not knowing where you were going or what you were doing, then you created, she has goals. Yes. What, um, what prompted you to help other women get to there? So I realized while I was 
So I, I ended up starting the coaching program and I realized that I wanted to be able to reach more women than I I had the time for. Yeah. Um, because like you said, I am in the military. I am a mom. I am a wife, you know, and I was like, I need a way to be able to still impart the strategies that I've created mm -hmm. um, in, uh, in other women and like be able to get that out there without right. uh, without having to like sacrifice the time that I was also spending with my family mm -hmm. um and of course you know my military obligations so I was like you know what I'm gonna create a journal and I'm gonna take everything that I've used and the structure that I've used to set my own goals and achieve my own goals and I'm gonna put it all in a journal and right. then at birth she has goals. <laughs> that is awesome. So talk to me about your journal. First of all, it is gorgeous. I have one. Um, it, it is beautiful and it's beautifully done. <laughs> so, so much. tell me about some of the things that are in the journal. Yeah. So these are my babies. <laughs> <laughs> and they're beautiful. <laughs> so we are now. So actually, you're getting the first like view of the 2024 journal. I'm unveiling the cover this evening so, okay um, so yes so the she has goals journal so basically inside of the journal um you have everything to be successful I wanted to create not a planner mm -hmm. but a journal specific to your goals okay. um because I feel like oftentimes once we start putting our daily task and our calendar, it becomes like a, a things to do from a, our to-do like, list. <laughs> exactly. And I wanted women to solely focus on their goals. So it is strictly for your goals. You will not find a calendar in here. Um, and so basically it starts off with, you know, your word of the year and knowing what it is that you want to be intentional about that year um, and then it breaks down your goals into categories um, just to help because I've realized that a lot of time pe times people don't know what mm -hmm. goals to create what goals to write what goals to set so it's structured in a way to uh, get you thinking mm -hmm. um, you know, what are some relationship goals that you want to achieve what are some personal goals that you want to achieve what are some spiritual or financial goals that you want to achieve so it's, it's broken down into categories and then um, it goes uh, based upon the month, the week, and the day right. to help you achieve your goals. And it's completely undated on the inside. So, you know, a lot of people I like that part don't start at the top <laughs> of the year. Some people start in the middle of the year and at the end of the year. Um, but I guess you're saying what's important is get started. Is get started. Yes. I like too in, in there that there, there's water at the bottom yeah. of the thing, which I think is so cool. <laughs> drink your water, y'all. <laughs> drink your water, sis. Drink your water. Yeah, drink your water. So you can have glowing skin and a fresh mind to think about the goals. That to you think about your, <laughs> that right there is worth the price of admission. So, Nikki, it sounds like you work primarily with women. Now, I know that you were started out thinking about mommies first. Has yeah. that changed? over the time that you've started this? Um, so it has changed. I feel like mommies still have my heart. Mommies still have my heart for sure, uh, but it has changed. So I realized that, well, when I created the journal, I created it for um, any woman to be able to use. I didn't, uh, I didn't like say solely, this is only for mothers. Um, so I realized that, more women who were not mothers were also, you know, um, opting into the coaching program and opting, opting into, you know, purchasing the She Has Goals journal. So uh, it, it's, it's for, it's for the, it's for the ladies. Let me say yeah. that. <laughs> okay. That's not a bad thing. And is it ever too early to start making goals? No, it's not. It's never, it's never too early, but it's never too late either. I feel like I get more people um, that feel like it's too late than it is too early. Sure. Unless you mean from an age perspective. Mm -hmm. from oh, an no. Age perspective, no, I, I definitely think that um, the, the youngest woman to the oldest woman yeah. can still set and achieve their goals. You're still above ground. You still have time to get there is what you're saying. Time. And, you know, it hurts my heart when I do meet um, older women 
mm-hmm. who feel like, you know, their time has passed. And mm. oh, that's for, you know, those younger kids, you know, I, child ain't got time for this. Like, I'm like, no, you still have plenty of time. There's still things that you can do mm-hmm. in your life right now, you know, to achieve your goals. So. You know, you mentioned earlier about a vision board. Now, I know I shame on me and I'm telling on myself, do you know, I have never created a vision board for two reasons. One, I don't need nothing else hanging on my wall. <laughs> and then, it, it don't make the cutest aesthetic at yeah, all. Yeah, okay. There's that. <laughs> and then I feel like I have so many things I want to be and do when I get big. Yeah. that that thing would be a, the mural in my office and that would just be absolutely outrageous. What would you tell somebody like me who's never created one? Why should I? Um. So the benefit that I have found with creating a vision board is not only do you have your journal where your goals are written because it's important to write your goals, mm-hmm. um, but to be able to visually see the things that you desire to achieve on a everyday basis that is looking at you, it's very hard to not do something to strive for it because it's constantly on your mind. Um, I tell people to put it in a place that they frequent Mm -hmm. daily. Um, so for example, mine is in the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> so you know I see it all the time and I'm reminded of my goals all the time but yeah. um to your other um comment as far as like your dreams are so big and you just want to do so many things um uh, totally get it <laughs> <laughs> but I try to incur- when when I'm hosting a vision board party I try to encourage um women to only put on there the things that they desire to achieve that year so mm. that you be more intentional and right. um you don't feel like it's so far off yeah and I try to encourage women to you know use your pictures use something that will personally inspire you you know words that will personally inspire you um and just be intentional about it. So yeah. that, that's so good. You know, uh, being the church girl thing, all I hear is scriptures flying around in my head. And one of them is people without a vision perish. Another mm-hmm. one is write it down and make it plain that they that see it can run with it. And then as a public speaking coach, I tell my clients, visualize your success. I guess I need to start telling them, cut out pictures and put it on a board, get my life together. I don't know. <laughs> Now, Nikki, I definitely you... say your your vision board should you cannot create a vision board without first writing down your goals. Oh, you that are right there. Just be putting stuff on a board that mm. you know it's not going to have any meaning to you. There there won't be a reference. So you absolutely need to write your goals first. Okay, so write the first and then do the board. Okay, I like that. You mentioned that you host vision board parties. What's that all about? Um. So like I said, in in my journey, it was a a combination of writing my goals and creating a vision board. So um, I I, I just believe that they go hand in hand, to be perfectly honest. So I have hosted, uh, I can't tell you off the top of my head how many (laughs) times I have hosted a vision board party because I go out and do it for um businesses or churches who invite me to come and host one for uh for their group but then I also host my own conference which is called Manifested Mama okay um so we had our first one in 2019 and God say the same we'll have our next one in 2024 so so we're excited about that Nikki you have so much going on and so much good information if someone wanted to reach out to you or work with you where could they find you you can definitely find me on my website. My website is www.shehasgoalsjournal.com. Awesome. Don't worry, y'all. If you did not get that information, it's all going to be in the description below. And don't forget, while you're here, subscribe, like, and share our content with your network. We need everybody to know what's going on over here. Nikki, my friend, before I let you go, we got to play a game. 
All right. So this game is called This or That. I'm going to give you the choice of a couple of things. And you, off the top of your head, just tell me which one you like the best. Okay. Are you ready to play, my friend? Not really, because I, sometimes I can't decide whether I want to do this or that. Really? <laughs> Wait, you're the goals lady. Get your life together. It's going to be fun, I promise. Let's okay, do ready. this. <laughs> All right. Android or iPhone? Android. Okay. Grits or oatmeal? Oh, grits. With sugar and butter, please. Wait, <laughs> sugar and butter. We can no longer be friends. You need to set a new goal. Yeah. We go, girl. Really? Yeah, you're not just a salt and pepper person. Pepper and butter. Mm -mm. It's a whole thing. You got to add some sugar to that. I'm telling you. Come on, fans. Comment <laughs> below. Salt and pepper or sugar and butter. I'm just saying. Sweet Next. Sugar and butter. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I, I don't I don't even know what to do with you right now. Make the call or send the text. Send the text. Okay. I like sports, or I don't care. I like sports. Really? Who what you like? Who's your team? Um, so I love track. Track and field is my absolute favorite. And I love boxing. Um boxing would definitely be on the female side Clarissa Shields on the male side Earl Spence and football Dallas Cowboys again I don't know why we know each other <laughs> I'm irritated by so far all your answers I'm, I'm a huge fan and most of the folks that watch us know I'm an Eagles fan and oh, I'm married oh. to a Cowboys fan exactly well, I don't even know how y'all <laughs> trust <laughs> me <laughs> Twice a year, it is very loud. We are definitely a house divided tw twice a year. I don't, I don't know. Here we go. TikTok or Twitter? Um, TikTok. Yeah, me too. House slippers or bare feet? Oh, house slippers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, you put sugar in your grits. I don't know. Michael Jackson or I'm Prince? Cold. I hate my feet being cold. So, you know. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Michael Jackson or Prince? Um, I'm a... I'm going to go with Michael. I'm going to go with Michael. You seem so unsure by that. Yeah. I'm going to go I'm going to I'm going to go with Michael just because I feel like that's more of uh the time that I grew up on and that's more of the songs that I can remember. But don't get me wrong, I do feel like Prince is a legend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. I'm I'm a fan. <laughs> okay. Yellow light, speed up or slow down? <laughs> Slow down. Okay, stand with somebody speeding. <laughs> no, oh my down. goodness. Okay, that's not a bad thing. Um, reality TV. Yes, please, or I just can't. I just can't. Too much drama. Right? I yeah. Look, I be trying to watch comedy when I get home. <laughs> I yeah, because you got you got whole other things going on in your life. And finally, my friend, what would you tell your 13-year-old self right now? Girl, sit down somewhere. <laughs> I was trying to be grown, Ricky, at 13. I, I, I'm so serious. So, that is I, so funny. I would honestly tell myself, like, don't rush it. What, you know, what are, what are you rushing for? Enjoy life as a 13 year old and getting to know yourself and, um, and understanding who you are and, yeah. and developing in that. I like it. Too bad you didn't tell her not to put freaking sugar in her grits. Moving on. Did you tell her that one? <laughs> Nikki, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. It is my pleasure. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's it for this time. But we'll be back next week with more Faith on Friday presents. <laughs>